Today's sew along is for an open front jacket with a kimono style neckband and front pockets. This is the Nino pattern by fabricstore.com. It's a free download that you can find on their website. If you would also like to add a fabric belt to your jacket, I'll show you how I made mine at the end of the video. The fabric that I'm using for this sew along is a high quality yellow linen from Rex Fabrics. Throughout this video today, I've used pieces of tape to designate the wrong side of the fabric. Join me as we sew this kimono jacket from start to finish. Let's get started. Place your back bodice pieces right sides together and pin the center back seam. Sew your center back seam with a 5 8 inch seam allowance. Now that that seam is sewn, we're going to trim one side of the seam allowance by half. I'm just going to take the topmost layer of the seam allowance and trim it from top to bottom. Then I'll open out this seam and I'll press that other full seam allowance over the one that I've cut. Now that that's pressed, I'll take the raw edge of that wider seam allowance and tuck it underneath itself to meet the seam line. Concealing those raw edges and pressing from top to bottom. Now that we have this nice clean seam on the inside of the garment, we can edge stitch close to that newly pressed edge from top to bottom. Take one of your pockets and fold the top edge to the wrong side by 3 eighths of an inch all the way across. Now that that top edge is pressed, we're going to sew that folded edge with the eighth of an inch seam allowance. And then we're going to trim the remaining seam allowance very close to our stitching line. Then we'll fold down that top section once again so that that stitching line is visible from the wrong side just over that folded edge. And now that that's pressed, we're going to sew again from one side to the other right along those pre-existing stitches. And repeat that baby hem for the top edges of both mirrored pockets. Here is the wrong side of one of my front pieces. I'm going to place the right side of my pocket on the wrong side of the front piece. Aligning the bottom raw edges and pin in place. Then I'll sew this bottom edge with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. And then we'll trim that seam allowance down to a quarter of an inch. Then we're going to open out that seam and press this seam allowance open. Once that seam is pressed open, fold your pocket upward so that the wrong side of the pocket is now on the right side of the front bodice and press again along that bottom seam. Now that that bottom edge is pressed, we can pin our pocket in place. Then we're going to create markings for ourselves at the top of the pocket three inches away from the side on both ends. Then we're going to top stitch along the top of the pocket from the side to our marking, back stitching to secure, doing this on both sides. Top stitching right along the stitching at the top of your pocket. And repeat for both front bodice pieces to create both front pockets. Now place your front and back jacket pieces right sides together and pin your shoulder seams all the way across on both sides. And then we're also going to pin the side seams, pinning from the bottom of the garment all the way to the bottom of the sleeve. Note that the bottom of the back bodice will extend slightly beyond the front bodice on both bottom edges. Now we're going to sew both of these side seams and our shoulder seams with a 3 8 inch seam allowance and then finish the seams. I'm going to be using my serger. And then press all of your seams toward the back of the garment. Now for the collar, we're going to take it to the ironing board 
and fold both long edges to the wrong side by 3 eighths of an inch all the way across, as well as pressing one of your short edges to the wrong side by 3 eighths of an inch as well. Once you have those edges pressed, we're going to fold the entire collar in half wrong sides together lengthwise all the way across. Now open out that collar and one of your seam allowances. Now here is the right side of the bottom edge of my front bodice. I'm going to take the bottom of the collar that we folded to the wrong side by 3 eighths of an inch and place that longer opened out seam allowance right sides together matching the vertical raw edges. You can align that folded edge of the collar right along that finished edge of the bottom bodice and start pinning in place. And then continue pinning that collar to your center fronts and the neckline. And note that at the opposite center front, you'll have some collar material extending beyond the front bodice. So starting at the opposite center front that has that short edge of the collar pressed under, stitching with that 3 8 inch seam allowance in line with the line that we pressed with the iron. Stitching all around the center front and the neckline until we're back at the opposite center front. Then we're going to trim the seam all the way around to a quarter of an inch. Then we're going to open out that collar away from the jacket and give this collar seam that we just sewed a good press all the way around. I've turned my jacket inside out and I'm going to place that outer folded seam allowance of the collar so that this folded edge just covers our stitching line on the opposite side. And once it covers that stitching, pin in place all the way around. Now I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and stitch as pinned all the way around. Stitching in the ditch of that original seam line, and once again periodically checking underneath to make sure that you are catching that inner edge of the collar as you go. Now we can finish off the bottom edge that's extending beyond the bodice. Trim that excess collar material to leave a 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. And then you can tuck that seam allowance to the inside. And give that edge a good press so that it matches the opposite bottom edge. Then we're going to edge stitch close to the bottom edges of both sides of the collar to finish them off. Then I'm going to open out the front bodices and we're going to finish the bottom edge of the back bodice that's extending beyond the front bodice. Fold up that bottom raw edge twice so that the bottom hem aligns perfectly with the front hem and give it a press all the way across. And then pin that back hem in place. Now we're ready to stitch along the entire bottom edge of the front and back bodices. Starting at one inner edge of the collar, you're going to stitch with about a quarter inch seam allowance. And once you get to that side seam, you're going to continue with that quarter inch seam allowance catching the edge of that back bodice hem as you go. Continuing all the way across until you're back at that inner collar on the opposite end. Now to hem the bottom of the sleeves, the instructions tell you to fold the bottom edges to the wrong side, folding them twice and giving them a good press. I tried on my jacket and I want to maintain the length of the sleeve, so I'm just going to serge the edges all the way around. And after I finished the edges, I folded them to the wrong side by about half of an inch all the way around. Then I'm going to edge stitch close to my finished edges all the way around, doing this for the bottoms of both sleeves. If you're interested in creating a fabric belt to tie your jacket, cut a long strip of fabric. I made the smallest size jacket and the strip that I cut for the belt measures 3 inches wide by 32 inches long. Now I'm going to fold my belt right sides together 
and give it a press all the way across. Then I'll start sewing at one short edge with about an eighth of an inch seam allowance, pivoting to also sew the bottom long edge, and leaving about a two inch gap in the center so that I can turn the belt right side out. Then I'll keep stitching until I get to the opposite short edge, pivoting my stitching to close that edge as well. Then turn your belt right side out through the opening that you left in your stitching. And then give your belt a good press. Then I'm going to top stitch around the entire belt, top stitching across both short edges and both long edges all the way around. As we do that top stitching, we'll be closing that original gap in our stitching as we sew. Top stitching all the way around with about an eighth of an inch seam allowance. Give everything a nice final press and your jacket is complete. Thank you for watching this sew along. Check out the rest of my video library for more great sewing tutorials and I'll see you in the next video.